Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here guys. So today this one will be an in-depth review for a fragrance from the house of Aflan. The fragrance is called Modest De and this is the version for women. Uh, I do not have the packaging with me at the moment so I will insert like a clip with how it looks, how it came later. But yes, guys, this one is a longer video because I want to share some layering tips with this one. I want to compare it with a few different fragrances in my collection that uh, have similar vibes with this one. Grab a coffee, grab a tea, grab a snack, a glass of wine, I don't know, and let's talk about fragrances. I had this fragrance in my collection for quite a while now and uh, this is how much I have used, which is, I mean, it's quite a lot, honestly. I mean, more than a third of the fragrance is gone, basically, so I do know so I know this fragrance very well, I have worn this fragrance in colder months, in warmer months and I'm here to share my thoughts about it. So yes, right from the start I want to let you know that when I got this one it was colder outside where I live. Uh, and this one in the cold, colder months it smells very different to how this one smells in the warmer months. And if I'm being very honest with you, I much more prefer it in the warmer months because I feel like the notes that, by the way, I will let you know which are the notes in a few seconds, but those beautiful notes, I can actually smell them, you know. Guys, this has such delicious notes. By the way, you can uh, look this one up on Fragrantica and you can read other reviews for this one and you can see the notes there and uh, let me just tell you that the notes in the accords are like on point. They look amazing, they look delicious. I mean, you have vanilla, you have chocolate and you have cherries. I mean, like what, what can you want more in a fragrance, you know? Now, right from the start, when you smell this one, it will remind you for sure of Tresolani, guys, because this is like, like I said, this is an inspired by version. And why is it inspired by and not a clone? Is because, because to me, this deserves its own place. This deserves its own recognition because it is such a gorgeous and beautiful fragrance. Now that I've had a chance to wear this one in the warmer ones, it's almost like I am rediscovering or like I am um, exploring a totally different scent. Right from the start, when you when I smell it, I get patchouli that gives this beautiful depth and uh, richness to the fragrance. I would say it's quite wearable patchouli as long as you enjoy patchouli. But what I love about this fragrance the most, guys, is the chocolate accord and the cherries. Okay, so you remember how I was telling you in the beginning of the video that this smells one way in the colder months and this smells a totally different way in the warmer months. So, what I mean by that? I feel like in the colder months, guys, the patchouli is very strong. It's the note that I got the most out of the fragrance and it's the note that like lingered the most or like lingered the... It's basically the note that stood out the most on my skin as well as on clothes during colder months. Uh, and it also had this like somewhat dusty feeling to the scent that now I do not get it. I would advise you, if you have this fragrance and you think the patchouli is too much, try to test this beautiful fragrance over here in the warmer months as well. And I promise you, it's a totally different vibe. You will get like a brand new scent, basically. How does this one smell in the summer? Now, oh my gosh, it's dark, it's seductive. Uh, you have the patchouli that in the opening, uh, it's a patchouli that smells like patchouli, but as you wear it, it develops this chocolatey undertone that I love, like a dark chocolatey undertone. And besides that, guys, I can smell cherries, I can smell a strawberry, of course, it's like a synthetic accord, you know, but like, it's so beautiful and so delicious. Now, the opening for this one is sweet, it's dense, it's juicy, you have this like fruity touch in the opening, and I get strawberry like a sweet ripe strawberry, cherries, but like dark cherries on a base of patchouli that I feel like, like I said, it adds depth, it adds this like mysterious seductive touch to the fragrance and vanilla. And I feel like the vanilla adds a little bit of sweetness and creaminess to the fragrance. Now, I wouldn't call this one necessarily a creamy fragrance and I wouldn't call this one necessarily like a fruity fragrance. To me, this is like a fruity patchouli, but like a very interesting take on fruity patchouli, you know? You don't have citruses and patchouli, you don't have like sweet citruses on the basic patchouli. You have strawberry and you have cherries. And I have to be very honest, I love it, it's delicious. Yeah, this has something warm about it as well, guys. It's like, it's dense, it's warm, it's round, it's intoxicating, it's delicious, it's not a gourmand. Uh, but I will show you at the end of the video a layering combo, which makes it a gourmand if you want to smell like a edible, I don't know. If you like 
uh, the fragrances in the genre of Tresor La Nuit, hands down, I can guarantee you, you will like this one. Uh, this is very similar to Tresor La Nuit, but when I smell them side by side, I mean, what I mean by very similar? When I smell this one, it automatically makes me think of Tresor La Nuit, but when I smell them side by side, I can e easily differentiate between the two. This one in the summer, this one is a gorgeous, intoxicating fragrance. It smells sweet, but it does not smell juvenile. It's like a dark kind of sweet. It also smells mysterious. The notes that I get the most, uh, like I said, are the strawberry, cherries, patchouli and vanilla. I don't get a lot of musk and I know it has listed spices, I think. I mean, I don't know. Either I'm used to very heavy spices in fragrances, but like in this one, I get no spices, honestly. So if you do not like spices, don't worry. I think you could still enjoy this one. Like I said, as long as you enjoy patchouli. Now, this one is not a gourmand per se, but I, I do think it smells it smells delicious, like when you wear this one, like it's almost like people want to, you know, like lick it a bit to taste it, if you know what I mean, but it's not edible, it doesn't smell like food, which I like because I don't want, like to smell like food, honestly. This fragrance is a dark fragrance, this is not a light, bright, playful kind of fragrance. This one is dark, it's mysterious, it's seductive, it's also a bit elegant, I feel like the patchouli adds that elegant touch. Uh, because it keeps it grounded, it keeps it darker. If I were to quickly compare it to Tresor La Nuit, I would say, like I've mentioned in my previous video as well, to my nose at least, this is the more sophisticated, darker, more mysterious and seductive version of Tresor La Nuit. To me, Tresor La Nuit, guys, it's sexy, but like in a naughty way, like in a provocative way, while this one is more elegant, it's more refined, you know, it's more... I would say sophisticated because when I, a lot of the times, don't get me wrong, I love Tresor La Nuit, I love both of these fragrances and I use both, honestly, and I enjoy both. Yeah, the best way to put it, it's a bit more refined, you know, and also guys, even though it's similar to Tresor La Nuit, but like it smells, it's similar but it stands out in its own way. This one, first of all, I think it's much more simplistic. Tresor La Nuit is like you throw in a bunch of notes together. I like that aspect about it, don't get me wrong, but I would never call like Tresor La Nuit an elegant fragrance. To me, that is a sexy fragrance, that's a naughty fragrance, like a little bit like provocative, you know, like, but I would never call that one an elegant fragrance because of the smoky accord. And to me, smoky accord in fragrances, they give a sexiness, um, they give mysteriousness, but I do not give elegance. Now, this one, it's a more elegant sister version of Tresor La Nuit, uh, and it's also much more simplistic. If you smell Tresor La Nuit, okay, I have not smelled the current version that's being sold, but I have smelled previous versions, and my version, maybe I should have checked, but I don't know which one, which year it is from. But that one has a lot in it. In, it can be a little bit too much for some people, meaning that, you have the strawberry that is very distinguishable that you can smell it basically you have the caramel you have the praline accord you have this passion fruit yellow fruity accord there you have the smoke you have the patchouli you have a lot going on and it's almost like it pulls in all of these different directions you know and i think a lot of people find it too much a lot of people find it bothering, like suffocating. Uh, it's because of the smoky accord. I feel like a lot of people do not enjoy smoke or incense accord in their fragrances. It makes them think of church. It makes them think of, I don't know what it makes them think of. Personally, I love a good smoky accord. I love a good incense accord in my fragrances. I feel like they just add that oomph, like different touch to the fragrance, you know? So it automatically stands out. If you have Trezolani or if you've smelled them, Take Tresor La Nuit, take out, leave the strawberry, add the cherry accord, uh, replace the caramel that's like sticky sweet with a vanilla that's more like sweet but like subdued, creamy and darker, and pop the patchouli and take out the incense accord. And this is what I would say uh, this one from Afnan is pretty much to my nose. I don't know guys, for some reason, especially now in the summer, like, I am drawn to this fragrance, honestly, like, there's just something about it. It does not perform like Tresor La Nuit, but again, for the price you pay for this one and for how expensive it smells, I don't think that's even a problem for me. Also, when I smell them side by side, uh, Tresor La Nuit is definitely thicker, denser, and a little bit more suffocating, while this one, I would say it's thinner compared to the previous one. It's less suffocating, but it's also darker. 
Why am I showing you? Oh my gosh, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> there, there you go. Uh, this one, this one basically, it's darker. It's thinner. It's not as thick as uh, and as dense as the previous one. It's also more linear. I feel like Trezor de Nuit, it's a little bit more complex. It changes more. Uh, it goes through different stages. This one, after the patchouli in the opening, it starts to develop this chocolatey touch. I feel like it's quite a linear fragrance, but honestly, I like that about it because it smells so good that it's, it almost would be a shame if the fragrance would go in like a totally different direction by the end of the day, you know? Which this one doesn't. Even though in the opening, Trésor La Nuit, it's sweeter, fruitier, and it's like the fruitiness has more nuances. You have the strawberry, but you also have some like yellow tropical fruits, you know? So you have more fruity nuances. This one, like I said, you get the strawberry. Imagine like a strawberry scented body lotion. It has that strawberry touch, you know? It's not like you take a strawberry out of the garden and you smell it, you know? It has some warmth, you know? It, it's like a little bit powdery as well. If Trésor La Nuit is the louder sister, the more naughty sister, the more provocative sister, this one I would say is like the more elegant, a little bit more sophisticated. She's not as loud, she's a little bit more subdued, but she's mysterious and she's very alluring somehow, you know, like your attention is drawn to her. Well, this one is more on the louder side, this one, when you enter a room, People will smell you for sure, they will smell you. With this one as well, if you overspray, by the way, I oversprayed as well, like 20 sprays plus I do with this one, but it works so, so, so well, guys. And I got so many compliments for this fragrance. Let's talk a bit about the performance. Um, now, in all honesty, this does not perform like Trezolani. This one lasts pretty well, lasts more than six hours on my skin. Uh, but I would say projection wise, it projects really great in the first two hours. Like, especially if you overspray it, people who are in like, I don't know, like arm's length near you will be able to smell you. But I wouldn't say this fragrance is a beast mode. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. I mean, for the price, I can always reapply it. I can always overspray it. And, but you know what? I feel like with this one, the beauty is the fact that it's so mesmerizing and alluring, you know? It's almost like... It draws people closer to you just to smell you. It has this sort of effect, at least from what I've seen. When it comes to seasons, now I think here is where a lot of people would disagree with me. A lot of people will say it's more for colder months. But you know what? I actually prefer this one in the summer. And I actually prefer this one in the heat. The warmer it is, the, the more delicious and intoxicating this one becomes. So this is why I said like, if you have it and you were just like not impressed by it, or if you have it and you found the patchouli a bit too much, please, please, please try it in the heat, give it a few wear tests. And I promise you something will click when you try it in the heat. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about my layering tip that I have for you. So basically guys and girls, if you want to tone down the heavier patchouli in the opening, if you want to amp up the chocolatey touch in the fragrance and if you want to make it a little bit sweeter and more gourmand leaning then I would highly 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 advise you to layer this one with Choco Mask by Al Rehab. I have the oil version and honestly I would advise you to get the oil versions from Al Rehab and I like to apply it in places like I don't know like on my wrist uh, behind here on behind my neck on my chest maybe if I'm wearing something with a lower cut that day and then whenever wherever I apply this one I come on top with um, Modest Deux from Afnan it makes it sweeter but like sweeter in a more gourmand way so keep in mind you need to love sweet fragrances if you are interested in trying out this layering combo but if you have this fragrance in your collection and if you are looking into buying this one I would highly advise you to layer them or if you have this fragrance in your collection and you do not um, and you do not enjoy the patchouli in the opening for this one, layer these two together. Uh, and what I like about this oil is that it just adds sweetness and it amps up the chocolatey undertone, but it does not change the scent. I think this is everything I wanted to tell you about this fragrance. I would highly advise you to check it out if you've had this one in your cart, if you've wanted to try this one for the longest time, I would highly advise you to try it. By the way, if you have this one in your collection, please let me know what are your thoughts on this one. I would love to know. And also, what do you smell in this one? Because for the longest time, I couldn't smell cherries, I couldn't smell chocolate, I only smelled patchouli and fruits. Uh, but now, in the summer, 
I smell these accords and I'm in love with this one. Thank you so 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 much for watching. If you have any questions about this one, please put it down below and I promise that I will get back to you. Also, if you have any video requests, uh, put them down below. I write all my requests. I have a notebook dedicated to my YouTube channel. I write all my requests. I write all the fragrances you recommend me to try and when I come by samples or decants or if they seem like the kind of fragrance that I would enjoy to blind buy and use, then I get it and I will test it and share my thoughts here on my YouTube channel. So yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, don't forget you can follow me on Instagram. I will link it somewhere up there. And yes, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I want to wish you an amazing day wherever you are. Bye. Mwah.